Hello YouTube. Um, Xenoboy200 or Chaos War Child. Um, signing back in again. Sorry, I haven't made any um, videos. It's because I've just recently got back to college and I'm on my hat -tack. Right. If you don't know who these are, if you're not a Chaos Space Marine player, these are Warp Talons. Now, the appearance is okay. You could have either had in the new box set Warp Talons, which are these guys, or Raptors. The Raptor look isn't as good as the 5th edition, personally. But off the subject of appearance, the stats and how I would play these. Right, Warp Talons. Firstly, I would play these, have two units of 10. For an extra 5 models, it's 30 points apiece. So, if you have a squad of 10, that would be 200, maybe 210, 310 points. For a 10 man squad, unupgraded with no mark and no veterans, 310 points for fast attacks. Give them the mark of Zinch, which will give them a 4 plus in vulnerable armor save because they have the demon special rule and that will give them a 5 plus in vulnerable armor save. But give them mark of Zinch because it will drop it down to 4 plus. Give them Veterans of the Long War, because you don't know what army you're facing. If you go up against Space Marines, any Space Marine chapter, you have an edge. Plus, with the two lightning, with the two pairs of lightning claws, or a pair of lightning claws, you get the special shred, which I'm not too sure about. So, down in the comments below, type in shred. This is shred and special rule because I need to know this. Um, what flame strike? Basically, when they deep strike within six inches of an enemy model or enemy unit, you have to. I think this is how it works. You roll a die, and if it's below their initiative no that's theirs if they roll under their initiative or I think let me check very quickly um, I'll get the proper definition of warp flame strike here we go when warp talons arrive from deep strike all enemy units within six inches count as having hit having been hit by a with a, by a weapon with blinds which would mean that they would either go down to initiative one or leadership, not leadership, or weapon skill one in close combat. Have two squads of these guys for, with ten guys. Have one in reserve and one on the board. Pick out the strongest unit your enemy has. So like say if that's a current effects or something. Deep strike your warp talons on the second go. If they come in, put it within six inches of the carnifex. And by then you would have to, you would by then have your other squad of warp talons just in range of the carnifex because you can do normal movement and then run. But by the second um, by the second turn of your go, um, you would most likely be in enough range to charge the Carnifex. And then you would have a big advantage there because you've got two squads of Warp Talons counteracting the Carnifex because 
for example, this squad here would deep strike, and another squad would just assault it in, or charge in, and um, they would go last because they're monst and it seems like the monstrous creatures they would go last with the warp plane strike special rule. As well, have them um, with um, just get them in there. Do not give them gift of mutation. Now you can give warp talents two gift of mutations, but that's for the champion only. Do not give him the gift of mutation. It's never worked for me, and if it worked for you, I encourage you to use it. But for me, I do not use it. And just cause as much mayhem as you can with these guys. Plus, with the kind of effect situation, you've got one squad that's just got in deep strike in. They're within six inches of the Carnifex. Then you've got the squad that's most likely just in charge range or in close combat. The monstrous creature slash Carnifex would go last because of the warp flame strike. Plus, it is pretty devastating with. Um, the Shred Special Rule and Lightning Claws because I'll quickly get up the Lightning Claws Lightning Claws AP3 plus they're also Specialist Weapon and the strength of the Lightning Claws would be 4 so you would pretty much kill this Carnifex but the best combination that I want to do is warp talons but it seems that these guys are close combat orientated have them with mark of corn that means they get to reroll their charge range they have rage they have everything that corn berserkers have basically plus with shred that they would make it them Amazing close combat demon kill space marines. Use them just like raptors, but as close combat unit. As a close combat unit, use them just like raptors. That's what I found easiest with these guys. Use them as raptors, but have them as a close combat version of raptors so they can just own with a 10 man squad mark of corn with shred those are the two best things I've ever seen or done is warp talons zinch drops it down to a 4 plus plus and or Warp Talons, Mark of Corn, which will give them Rage, gives them a re-roll on the charge distance and all that sort of stuff. It, they will be very good with Mark of Corn. So, Xenoboy200, signing back out. Please rate, subscribe, or comment. If you want to, dislike, then... If you want to, then... Just don't be a dick about it and put hateful comments on there. Alright, Xenoboy200, signing out. Thank you.